It's one of the hottest new hobbies around, wild mushroom picking. And now a new book from the Royal British Columbia Museum is out at the peak of the pastime's popularity. The publication is sold out in many places and foragers are anxiously awaiting a second printing. The two authors behind the bestseller show in colorful detail the mushrooms of our province as well as differentiating between edible ones and the potentially poisonous. I did my master's in mushrooms in 1982 and I've maintained my interest in mushrooms for I guess that's nearly 40 years now. My autumns have been consumed with mushroom festivals, mushroom courses. This is the carbon antlers or the candle snuff fungus. A common question that we'll get in these courses is what's a good mushroom guide for the beginner? There were a number of books that we could recommend but we always followed up the recommendation with a but. It became clear that we needed a comprehensive made in British Columbia mushroom guide for the beginner, Mushrooms of British Columbia. It's been on the BC bestseller list and I was gobsmacked. There appears to be something in the air about mushrooms now too. I've been reading lots and lots of articles about mushrooms and their use in treating neurological disorders. Stella McCartney and, and articles about how she's now designing uh, clothing made of mushroom fabric. Oh, here's one that's already on its side. So this one we thought looked like a properly cooked flapjack. In the book we refer to this as the pancake mushroom. Mushrooms are the fruiting bodies of fungi and that lives in the ground and in the wood as microscopic filaments. Around the base, some evidence of the microscopic filaments that are actually in the soil here. It's only when it produces its fruiting bodies, like this one, that uh, we know it's even present. So it's really important if you intend to go out collecting mushrooms to eat that you identify them properly. That's really the purpose of the book. I don't care if it's our mushroom guide, if a guide on natural history in our province is making the bestseller list, I find that heartening and inspiring. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.